goodness, with face, pat, and tiz. Being, um, I've been doing a lot of thinking just on a different basis. I don't, I don't have no random, regular questions just on some dumb shit like I normally do. Um, I think uh, my questions this week actually go a little bit in depth. Just a little bit, but mm -hmm. not too deep. Um, so we're going to check them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So my first question for y'all tonight, what is a first world problem that is a third world luxury? Hmm. Hmm. Um, one is like toilet hear. paper. My iPhone cracked. <laughs> I'm just going. Oh, you break it up. You break it up. <laughs> yeah, it is. What'd you say? Because you would break it up at first base. And you still break it up. Too much ice in your drink. Too much ice in your drink. I like a lot of ice. Hmm? I like a lot of ice. I must be third world. Now I am. Now I like it. Bleeds out the sugar. <laughs> Bleeds out the sugar. Yeah. No. Well, I, I probably said it wrong. I'm pretty sure I did. But you know. Bleed it out there, Pat. Bleed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, so you know, I don't know what it is, but Hawaiian punch is a little bit more sugary than it used than, than what I taste before. It like it has a whole different uh, taste. It is definitely very, <clears throat> very thick, like cough syrup. Making yeah, so I you, like like you been, been popped a foe. Yeah, I like stack mine full of like ice and then drink oh, it. Right. So, Right. Too much air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, air too, conditioning. That, too much air conditioning. What? Now, second question. Now, this is just, just to you two guys. If you could, what is one thing or moment that you would erase from history never to have existed? Oh, because that's scary. Because I'd be thinking about like the butterfly effect after if I do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because like, mm -hmm. cause the first thing I, <clears throat> the first thing I would just instinctually go to is probably slavery. But then I don't know what would be the replacement for that in history. Like the would idea no would yeah, I mean, the idea would be like, um, I'm thinking if we never was fucked with, we'd probably lock down Africa and be like the strongest continent on earth. That's wishful thinking, but I don't control time, so I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. That's real as shit. Um, I think Marvel fucked me up, man. Marvel fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> Wakanda forever. Yeah, man. Don't mess with the timeline, Kang. Kang is coming. Kang is coming. Um, I would. Yeah, fuck it. Slavery. That's about it. I feel like everything else I can deal with. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I take a chance. Don't got nothing I'll to do with me. Chance. Yeah, I'd that would be say, the one I would take a chase. Yeah, I would Western explanation, Western exploration by Europe. Okay, that because they, they never started none of this shit. You feel me? A lot of shit would be prevented. Slave trade would have never been even thought of, so I wouldn't have to say slave trade. Just the the Western exploration of Europe. Okay, or by Europe. Okay, devil's advocate. Um, so if the Western um, exploration of Europe didn't happen, all right, this this is Marvel fucking me up. It's <laughs> always an equal but opposite event that will start in place of it. So what if, um, if, if Europe is not there to stop them, what if in place of it just ends up being 
Arabic exploration. And they end up just doing the same thing. Or who to say it wouldn't be African exploration. That is true. That is true. It's like a coin flip. <laughs> it's like you got to pick your poison and kind of just see what you want to live with. Because you're going to have some repercussions, but it, you just don't know what they could be. As soon as Tears got that face, I was like, how about, one, how about some of the Asian community? Is that is that PC? That's good. Yes. Is that yeah. cool? That's good. Okay, one of yes, I was gonna go totally left on that shit. <laughs> give you some cold I could use <laughs> What if the Asian somebody in the Asian community from their where they originate, what if their exploration just continued to go east, even from where they were at, and end up on the west coast of what we call America now? And decide you know to uh, expand anyway. You know what? There's a comic book called the um the East of West, and they actually explore that. Yeah, like, 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 like Japan takes over. I think Africa got like a whole section of America, and it's like called New Orleans, and it's the flyest, most futuristic flying pyramid shit you ever seen in your life. And matter of fact, um, Jonathan Hickman wrote it. That's the guy that was writing X Men that I like so much. Hickman. But, yeah. Not to, not to get into a tangent, but yeah, yeah. Like I think they would be the one. I, I would. It, it would just. Be, it would be in between Africa, Africa, Asia, and the Middle Eastern culture, in general. Yeah, I, I could see that. I don't mind. I could see that. Machetes and, and katana blades, everybody. Machetes. Well, you know, Genghis Khan. There'll be a bunch have, of people you know, looking that that'll look just like the uh, people that are from uh, Polynesia and uh, Pacific <laughs> Islands. Hmm. That's all it'd be a bunch of people that look like they're from Hawaii. Bunch of big Samoan looking people. Bunch of children. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. Exactly. Exactly. You you understand oh, what I mean there. Oh, that's good. Now, now we touched on this a little couple of weeks ago, but <clears throat> third question. Pat, you ain't got no children. So imagine you got kids this question. If your child was attempted to hurt or harm you, would what? you or do you think if your child, your kid, your seed was attempted to hurt or harm you, do you think you would have in it in you to do whatever it takes to protect yourself or save yourself? How old is the kid? <laughs> do it matter? <laughs> yeah, it do. It, it, it absolutely matters. It's child killers that is under ten. That they these days are shit. No, I mean, how old are the? How old is the kid? That determines how, let's, how let's, much let's heart. Let's just I do it by you. by fives, like you know, because like, the baby don't matter. Five and ten, then fifteen, then twenty. Anywhere from eight years old and up. Uh, eight years old? No, I don't think I got the heart. You get about twelve, thirteen. I might got it. <laughs> the closer you, the closer you get to looking my size and age, the closer my brain gets to being able to have some type of dissonance enough to like see you as a viable threat. Because before that, I'm looking at you like, yeah, you might want to do something, but I'll beat your ass. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man! Like you, you're a fucking kid, but. You get to being a little bigger and a little stronger, then I'm looking like, okay, it's a legitimate chance that if I don't be careful, <laughs> shit could go left. I might actually have to go ahead and take you out and uh, just get to work on round two. I brought you in this world. I take your hands. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? That's just being real. Like, I, I look at, uh, you look at kids these days, man. Kids is big in Samoans at like uh -huh. 11. Yeah, steroid food. So, like, you know, when you're when you're my, when you're six foot tall and you're taller than me, and you're about my build, my brain starts to see like my brain goes to primal mode. So I feel like whatever age you are that make you big as me, that's about the age that you can catch it. Yeah, I 
I don't discriminate. I don't know fuck how old you are. You trying to hurt and harm me and trying to kill me? I'm going to get your ass. I ain't got to kill you to immobilize you. But I got what it takes to get you up off my ass. Shit. Um, Eight, nine, ten, six, seven. I, I don't fuck how old they are. That shit. I don't care. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck. You got to get your ass up out of here. Shit. They ain't gonna Menendez me, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> and be a shit. basketball game. I be thinking, um, I, shit, I'm, I, I'm type parent. I think about that type of shit, bro. I be thinking about, right, y'all can start naked and start locking my door. I don't trust my little shit. You don't walk around my house. Christ. You look your baby walk around my goddamn house at night. What the fuck you doing out there? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck you doing for me, baby. It's crazy. Fuck y'all doing. Yeah, I do it. Check and see if I'm No more locked <laughs> doors. Gracias. Yeah. No. Oh, fuck that. Man, cameras well, in my house. <laughs> Focus on their goddamn doors. Fuck me up. Hey, I see you moving. That nigga face you lapsed. You better be going to the bathroom. Yeah, you're goddamn right. <laughs> what you doing with that water? <laughs> Don't be in there setting no traps for me either. Damn right. I come out of this bedroom and slip on some water and bust your ass. <laughs> when I get up. You did this. You did this on purpose. <laughs> Daddy, I was just playing with my action figures. I don't care. <laughs> did on purpose. The thoughts that preceded this message were strictly a skit. They were strictly for comedy, comedic purposes. Yes. No children yes. are intended to be harmed by any of these comments. Not at all. Or will any children be harmed? Please do not no, not protective services. And bef- hmm. before I answer mine, the thoughts <laughs> <coughs> and views of the Padawan don't have sometimes just don't have nothing to do with the other two thirds of the partners. Um, as y'all know, maybe from my other videos, especially the one about the mermaid He's girl. Single. Uh, no, not not that. No. Oh, I was um, about to say, goddamn. <laughs> if I have. Um, if I don't have, if I had kids, um, if you remember that, it's a it's a strict reason why I probably don't have kids, um, because I'd probably be like face. Um, if you eight years old and you come up with me and you try to kill me, I don't know. I, I I'm gonna just you know smack the knife out your hand or something like that. I might punt kick you, you know, like Randy Orton punt kick you, like just you know <laughs> get it out of your hand. Whatever, but, um, the legend killer. The older you get, the more, the more vicious I'm gonna have to go. Like, yeah, you raising your voice? Where my goddamn bat? <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a bat yeah. when you're around twelve years old or whatever. <laughs> yeah, and if you're eighteen, I'm gonna be I'm like, uh, I'm gonna be like, uh, what you call it? Oh, what's that dude? Uh, Morgan Freeman on that movie, Carter. Not Carter. You smoke crack, Sam? Oh, that's not. Oh, that's uh, lean on me. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, Joe Clark. Joe, Sam. They used to call me Crazy Joe. Now you call me Batman. (laughs) I had to be like him, man. The enemy is at the door. Get the chains off the door. (laughs) (laughs) I told y'all before. Some some kids are jerks, man. Some some kids are jerks. You gotta watch them. (laughs) Uh, sometimes and if you're a parent you know which one of your child are you know jerks and which one of my assholes yeah which one of your childs which i, I said it wrong. i look i'm sleepy i told you i got like had a red bull man it's been a busy day dog. Which, which one of your children it's been a busy day yeah, yeah man. Man. When you get to a certain time of the night, my grammar is going to be all screwed up. But I'll come back and proofread, but it'll be too late. <laughs> understood, understood, understood. understood. But yeah, that's how I feel about that. Yeah. Good old punt kick. Get you right. <laughs> so now, my next question. Does love change with extreme weight gain or is love truly unconditional? Love changes, thug changes, best friends become strangers. Especially with this divorce rate. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I had to add that. All right, so I'm going to say this. I don't think love changes. I think love is love, and you will always love somebody. I think what changes is like and attraction. Mm -hmm. Those things are waning. Those things are like things that are fleeting, which is why you have couples that talk about like they got to get their flame back and all of that stuff. It's because like over time, the more you get to know somebody, you know what I'm saying? Familiarity breeds contempt. So like, because you're around somebody all the time, like you begin to like, not only see just the stuff that makes you like them, but you are also around the stuff that annoys you about them. So over time, your perception of them goes from like, when you first saw them, they was just whatever attracted you to them. But over time, <clears throat> things deteriorate that and make them seem more and more normal, which is what happens. So if they change in an extreme weight gain, it's, it's not like you love them less. It's just they're less attractive. So you you might like them less or you might be less uh, physically attracted to them. But wow. you might still love them enough to stay with them and be there for them to help them get right or whatever. Beat that relationship talk, my brother. What about you, Patrick? Mm -hmm. um, I think it depends on the person or whatever. But I don't think it would be a love thing or whatever. But at the same time, it just depends on the person. Like, if if the person you were with was already a fucked up person, then, mm -hmm. you know, the coin flip is up on how they're going to love you. And, and at the same time, it's probably a good thing if you stop loving them in the first place, pretty much. But, it, you know, an average decent person, you know, like like Tiz says, the attraction, uh, I can't talk, the attraction may go away or whatever. But, you know, they still may love you, you know, they, they, they still, they may still love that person, you know, they don't want nothing bad to happen to them and everything or whatever, but they just not physically attracted to them or Oh no! Or at the same time, I mean, extreme weight gain don't mean that they will lose attraction. Some people would like, you know, the weight gain. They do have BBW hunters out there. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm talking. About, I'm talking about SS BBW. Oh, oh well, yeah. The one when they turn into a bed, they yeah. I'm talking about gaining like four, five hundred pounds. Extreme weight gain. Hopefully, I love you enough to stop you before that even gets to that point. Good. Yeah, good point. Mm, well, that well, is well. my key there. I was waiting for somebody to say that right there. Because if you truly love the person and then you see it beginning, at some point, your love for that person should try to make you intervene on that extreme weight gain before it becomes extreme. Because extreme weight gain at the end of the day is unhealthy. And you always want the best for those who you love. So instead of letting it get that far and having to lose that attraction, Try to help that loved one. Try, try to help that person out. Give, give them some positive motivation. Work out with them. And cook lean foods. You, you see bullshit coming in the house, take that shit out. Something. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But that's what I was waiting for. Say that right there. You know, don't let them get to it. You feel me? But I do agree because it, it wouldn't be a matter of love. I think it would be a matter of more of attraction. Because you can lose, you can stop liking somebody as soon as you get married to them. But it, it don't lessen your attraction to them. It's just you, you don't like that person who it is. But with that extreme weight gain, it, it's more than just the person changing. It's the, the, the physical changing, the, the mentality changing of a person because once a person gains that much weight, their mobility is different. They can't go nowhere. They can't do nothing. It ends up being like one of those cases where you're just taking care of that person. And do you I look at it, Do you have that in you to be there? <laughs> Just for that, you can. Are you just? Y'all ever comfortable? seen my six hundred pound life? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's some skits on YouTube. Um, I ain't gonna get into that's it, my, but okay, <laughs> for my six hundred pound life. I just can't <laughs> stop eating. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You you can <laughs> when that plate is done, do you finish that? eating. Isn't that like killer case TV or something like that? Then you don't eat no more. Watches. Oh man. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Now, my last question for my little question for the week. Big as a wall. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what did you just say? <laughs> did you just say big as a wall? <laughs> yeah, they be being about as big as a wall, man. Like a whole wall. Like a whole bed. <laughs> oh, oh no. shit. Boy, you going to hell on scholarship. You know you're not uh, a bad person. You know you take a bad I'm sorry. That's no, funny. Not. <laughs> big as a wall. And all that right. shit all casual. Try to slip it all under the radar. <laughs> Berlin. Last you know, I don't miss shit with these headphones, Nick. <laughs> if y'all can make one creature go extinct, go extinct. Excuse me. If you can make one creature go extinct right now, what would it be? Well, right now, um, I'd be biased, and I'd say moths because they are taking over my cabana, and I don't <laughs> like. It. And y'all know I don't like bugs, so moths. I would have to have choose between giant mall. Huh? Have you had a, had any experience with a giant mall yet? <clears throat> no. And like, why would what you, you put mean? that into my psyche? With like, yeah, what you mean by head. giant? Like, how big is a giant mall? They're as big as your hand. A what? Your what hand, nigga. Nah, your hand, on, man. I'm good. Bro. Come on. <clears throat> nah. All right, moving nah, on. Man. Go ahead, Pat. Uh, Adam, what did you pick, Pat? You took me out, Pat. Well, Adam, what was you saying party. about Pat? What was you saying, Pat? <laughs> All, right. All right, so. You say you would do a tiger? Oh, a tiger. One, one, tiger. one creature. No, I like tigers. I, I, <laughs> and they don't live by me, so, you know, I think they're majestic. Yeah, I have a tiger in my comic book, actually. Um, I have three creatures. Okay. <laughs> If 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 it was considered a creature, I would say COVID and viruses, um, or Those whatever. But I don't. They are. Yeah, I, I thought they did. I mean, they're, they're not living. They're not really. Virus. They're not living. Oh well, yeah, viruses are not. They're, they're not living, so I don't think they necessarily are considered creatures or no, whatever. I but saying. I see what you're saying. Or whatever, but at the same time, they still could be considered their organic creatures. matter. Yeah, which is weird. It's like they're living, but they're not living. The zombies, zombies. Sales. Exactly. That's exactly. Yeah, but um, but if that is not considered, uh, probably the next thing on the list would probably be diseases because they're actually living. Whatever. Um. Pretty much the or the organisms that make diseases, um, or mosquitoes. Mosquitoes got yeah. to go. They got to go. Next thing is anything after that will be anything with a stinger. They got. Anything with a stinger. These horn spots. You know, all of them. I would I, I would say it. bigger animals, but they're starting to be cool with me over the years. Cause oh, like they're your friends. You out here like ju- bears. like some Jumanji shit. They just be talking to me for some reason. Uh, hopping so in, uh, hopping uh, in my uh, car, uh, talking to me and shit. It's uh, it's weird. It's fucking weird. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with spiders myself. You said spiders. Oh, yeah. Spiders, he said. Spiders. spiders. Oh, okay. And my spiders. sister would agree with you. My sister would definitely I, agree. Only with reason you. I would not say spiders is because they eat the other bugs that I don't like. So I'm like, I need some to help me get rid of them other bugs. I can't do it by myself, so I want to keep them around. Mm-hmm. But spiders I'm, and birds, I gotta keep <clears throat> just because they eat the bugs that I don't like. So I'm probably need one of them. I gotta take one out. I'm gonna say I'm gonna take out the spiders because the birds can't get in my house. Yeah, that's true. True. Although you have had a bird in your eyes before, so technically, yeah, they can. Yeah, I did. And that shit was crazy then. Yes. I, I hate to see it. People, that's don't ever bad. give Face a pet parakeet as a as a, a gift. Just don't. Yeah, not, my mama bird. not my mama it's bird. Gonna be a t- it's going to be a target practice. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I've seen it. It, it's not it's not pretty. Hey bird. Shot a feather right off a bird. I'll take that back. 
I take that back. I deal with spiders. I hate birds. Get rid of all the birds. Shit. And that's what ended the dinosaurs, everybody. Face his wish. <laughs> Damn T Rex. Mm-hmm. He was crushing on my lawn. Fuck that T Rex. Fucking, fucking 50 story chicken walking around, screeching at people and stuff. Well, not people, but animals and eating them and stuff. Big ass parakeets walking around. Fucking. Fuck. Fucking Yoshi Giant on steroids. Who the fuck wants to see a canary? Who the fuck wants to see a giant canary? Nobody. Looking like a chocobo off Final Fantasy. Freaking dinosaurs walking around, transforming into megazords and shit. <laughs> big ass birds. Fuck big birds. Uh, we do not want beef with Sesame Street. This is that gang watch, shit. I ain't watch that shit growing up because it's big and big. That damn bird. I like to give a shout out to Gullah Gullah Island. <laughs> Gullah Gullah Island. But that's all my questions I got for this week so far. <laughs>